Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your morning coffee. Yeah, so this is just going to be a quick energy read for the day of Monday, October 15th. Um, it's not sign specific and it's not like love or career specific. We're just pulling energies for the day, chat about it a little bit just to help you get a little bit of clarity as you move on. Yeah, so grab your coffee, grab your tea, your smoothie, whatever it is that you... Whatever you do in the morning, let's get into it, yeah? And if it's not morning when you're watching this, that's okay. You can grab yourself anything that you like and we can share, yeah? So let's do it. Okay. Hey, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages for the day of Monday, October 15th, 2018. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Mm. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So let's see what we got. I'm seeing purple. Um, so this could be a day of activations. Um, some of you might... I don't know, be dealing with some crown chakra activations, third eye activations. Uh, yeah, let's shuffle up. What do we got? <laughs> Monday, October 15th. Definitely feeling a lot of earth fall energy. Um, and it's fall here in the Northeast. And well, in the United States, it's fall. Um, that's just, to me, that's just the energies of the earth greeting us, surrounding us. It's a good thing. One more shuffle. Okay, one more shuffle here. Oops. All right. So I'm just going to free pull, I'm just going to free shuffle here and pull and see what we've got. Monday, October 15th. Wake up. What's going on for Monday, October 15th? Okay, there we go. All right, underneath the deck, we've got the Six of Cups. So this is, um, I'm hearing this is like memory lane, okay? So there's probably going to be a lot of nostalgia um, for many of you that are dealing, that would be going through like some sort of chakra activation or something. Um, you might be like, if you're dealing with a third eye activation, you might be getting flashes. You might be working with reviewing past lives, just being really nostalgic and looking back on the past with a certain thing. So you could be connecting with a soulmate here. We've got the magician. Wow. Okay. So, um, we've got two separate energies here that I want to talk about. So the first one, we've got the Magician with the Empress, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So um, in this nostalgic energy, some of you may really be working on manifesting, okay? And it looks like you're pretty abundant, pretty fertile. Um, this is really a good time to work with these memories here with the Six of Cups um, in order to really manifest the best moving forward. Um, I, I, many of you may be moving away from, from burdens here, okay? So with the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Cups, some of you, some might really be working on manifesting something new, okay, something better, your dreams come true, and I'm really feeling an energy of moving away from all of these burdens to clear the way for um, Nine of Cups energy or like your wish fulfillment to have space to grow and develop here with the Magician and the Empress, okay. Um, there's definitely, this is definitely a good thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. I mean, for some of you, this could be this could be an expression of the divine feminine here with the empress. Okay, so um, 
really, yeah, really <laughs> detachment, really detaching. Um, the Six of Swords here in this deck says detachment. Detaching and moving on so that um, you have the freedom, the space to manifest. This could be manifesting a soulmate here with the Six of Cups. That really could be on the mind. So many of you could just be still carrying through with this purgy energy from the weekend. However, it feels a little bit different at this time. It feels like um, it feels like the, the, the last release, really. And I really feel a lot of you are moving forward today with the Six of Swords. It could be a little rocky still. There could be some emotions that, you know, flare up kind of get in the way but um anything that comes up today or whenever this resonates for you just flow through it okay you don't have to resist so the second set of energies here let's look into this the knight of swords the eight of cups the seven of swords nine of pentacles five of swords queen of wow okay so this is definitely i'm gonna i'm gonna set this over here um because this feels like Basically, the this energy right here feels like the driving force. This is what's really happening for you guys. But here, this is like the more more of the detail here. So we've got the Queen and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I really feel like somebody is wanting to communicate here. But but the Eight of Cups. Okay, the Eight of Cups is here. Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so what's going on with this? Um, this is the deeper energy here. I, free, I really feel like whoever is taking up the Queen of Swords energy is also kind of taking up the Knight of Swords energy, and I just feel like a lot of momentum here with, a, with the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords here. There's a lot of momentum to move forward, and Someone really, especially with the between the Queen of Swords and the um, the Knight of Swords, because you have the Knight of Swords here, and then you have the Queen of Swords here. It's like someone is really wanting to move fast, and I feel it's just, it's an interesting combination between the Queen and the Knight of Swords because um, it's like someone is ready, really ready to move forward, but they're not really. It's a strange energy because usually the Knight of Swords is like, think first, or I'm sorry, um, shoot first, ask questions later. But that's not the energy I'm getting here. I'm getting someone that, that is just getting an energy of wanting to move quickly. But also with the Knight of Swords not willing to, you know, potentially cut someone down should they get in the way. Now be careful here. Don't, you know, don't go lashing out at people. Um... For unnecessary but like uh, what I feel like is if it's provoked someone's not going to be afraid to strike back okay so just be aware of that um, there could just be a lot of it, it just especially with working through a lot of this purging energy that we came out of over the weekend um, <laughs> yeah someone some people just could still feel a little volatile a little sensitive that kind of thing okay um, there's a there's a lot of release. There's a lot of release here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, but then we also have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, okay? So um, I really feel like some of you, there's, there's a lot of conflict right now. Um, the Five of Swords to me is, well, the combination of the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords to me is still talking about this Venus in retrograde. Um, so this is where a lot of this purging energy is coming from, okay? Um, this Venus retrograde is helping us identify what it is we want in relationships and what we want to cut away from our lives, okay? And a lot of this could be happening in secret with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. I'm really getting an energy of laying low because of this Five of Swords energy, okay? So that's what, that's what the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords are really saying to me. Some people still might be laying low in order to avoid any sort of destruction, conflict, or anything like that. And there's a lot of work here in towards claiming or regaining independence, um, especially with trying to move away from certain situations, move, move away from burdens. There's a lot of effort and work being put into um, getting what it is you desire here, okay? Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles being 
I'm hearing autonomous. Um, 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 yeah, independent, free, freedom. Okay, that's the biggest thing I'm getting here with the Nine of Pentacles, freedom. And most of that comes from the thoughts, okay? So it's, it's no coincidence that the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords have come up and have come up because especially with the energies that I was getting from the beginning of the reading, this is a lot, there's a lot of things happening on the mental scale, scale okay? Um, and mentally thoughts in mo uh, thoughts and like memories and stuff that are being cleared away just want to play this out so you guys can see more and this is the eight of cups here yeah okay all in all though it's, it's not that this feels bad it's just it's it's rocky it's tumultuous it definitely feels um it feels like conflict, but to me, the con it's like we're working through the conflict. We're not trying to create any more. We're not really actively trying to fight each other. Even with this Knight of Swords and this Queen of Swords here, it's the Queen of Swords that's really tempering the Knight of Swords energy. It's just that <laughs> what I'm hearing is it's just that she's just not afraid to cut a bitch <laughs> should they need it. You know what I mean? Like, should they cross her the wrong way? Should they, that kind of thing. She's not really afraid to fight back. <laughs> Just be careful, guys. Don't go causing conflict and drama because you do have this Five of Swords energy and the Five of Swords energy can be really destructive, especially with the Knight of Swords. Just do the work that you need to do in order to keep yourself away from that energy to, to really lay low with the Seven of Swords. Um, do the work that you need to do to maintain your independence, to maintain or to really solidify your freedom. And that freedom comes from not being controlled or, or manipulated or, you know, by the past with the Six of Cups here. It's all about memory lane right now. It's all about purging the past, healing the past, releasing the burdens in order to manifest what it is you desire because there's definitely a lot of fertile energy for that manifestation to come through with the empress the magician and the empress crowning this reading right now really feels especially with like all the turmoil and the purging and all that stuff that's down here in the conflict the empress is really a beautiful energy especially um uh, coupled with the magician there is really an active effort to manifest change, manifest the, the wish come true or the dream come true with the Nine of Cups. And there's a lot, there's a lot of effort here with the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Magician. Okay. Funny though, we do have the succession, five, six, and seven of swords. So we're really and then the eight and the nine of pentacles. So um wow. Wow, the Eight and the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight and the Nine of Cups. Oh, um, well, yeah, the Eight and the Nine of Cups. There's definitely movement forward, okay? We're, we're definitely moving forward. Okay, so let's get into the, some Oracle Guidance for the day. I want to do Crystal Mandala. And then I also want to close the reading. Because of this Venus in retrograde, I want to close the reading with Whispers of Love just to help us with a little bit of love advice. All right, so Crystal Guidance for the day, October 15th, 2018. Okay, there's two of them. There's two of them here. The first we have Ascended Master White Matthew and Dan Bright, Original Self. Okay, and that's actually the one I'm going to take here. I'm going to put this one back. Um, it's just one for the day, although, yeah, okay. All right, cool. Is this really, this already feels, this original self here, already feels like it's um, quite, 
quite poignant. <laughs> okay. Oh, my coffee. All right. Original self. We bring you the blessing of original self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are. And this, and as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It contains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not, quote, get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others of the world and simply living your original, radiant, divine self. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, with the Ten of Wands here, you're releasing all of these burdens, all of these ways that people have may have defined you, pigeonholed you, all that, the, all of their desires of you, that kind of thing. I mean, that's right on point, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to clear away, I'm sorry, clear away, um, we're all clearing away, <laughs> That's pretty funny. But definitely memory lane with the Six of Cups. It's all of this past stuff. It's all of these burdens. It's just be careful. Try not to be too combative, okay? There could be energies, especially with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. There could be, you know, energies. There could be energies of people claiming that, you know, they have your back and all that, when in reality they don't, okay? So... Just try to be as civil as possible. As civil as po possible, excuse me. Okay. All right, guys. Closing message from the Whisper of Love for your day. Here we go. Closing message for October 15th, 2018. Closing message for the whoop. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Underneath the deck, we have be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Okay. This is definitely, this is definitely some Venus in retrograde energy in full force today. But then also the final message we have here is love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So this is encouragement, okay? This is encouragement to continue, continue moving on, continue striding. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose faith in love. Don't lose faith in yourself. But also um, really... Continue to do what you need to do in order to accept love, to feel love, to, to, to allow this manifestation to come in, okay? All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, take care. Bye.